Hey, aloha everyone. This is Shane and I'm in my studio today on this Saturday, December 14th, 2013, out here on the North Shore of Maui. And I'm also, you'll notice, uh, wearing my new Google Glass that I received yesterday. So I'll be cutting back and forth between the, uh, the video that my Google, Google Glass is taking and what I have my GoPro set up here uh, to take. So you can see that, uh, just a little quick notice, I've got a GoPro on a tripod. And then over here on my iPad, I have the Wi-Fi of the GoPro running. So I have a little uh, a monitor and I can see uh, what's going on there in the, in the GoPro. So uh, since we announced our uh, engagement or our uh, partnership with the Andaz Maui at Wailea uh, a couple of weeks ago, I've been talking about what I call my gallery wall system. And people have been asking about that, so I wanted to take a, a really quick tour of the prototype. Um, the challenges that I face, since, since we have to provide all of the displays at the gallery, uh, um, there are a couple of requirements that, they, um, that, that, that the gallery wall system has. Uh, the first one is that it be portable, movable. Um, the second one is that it um, be in line with the design aesthetic of the Andaz, which is a gorgeous, beautiful space and, and uh, resort here on Maui, the newest one. Um, and that it be functional, of course. So, I did a couple of drawings, and this is what I've come up with. So the first thing you'll see is that it's on wheels, of course. <laughs> that it's on wheels. Now this is a prototype. The um, next version is one foot wider. So it's one foot wider this way, and it's twice as deep. This is three feet by one feet, and I found that in moving it around, if I'm not careful, it's just too tippy. So I'm going to go uh, uh, a little bit deeper with the uh, with version two, and I've already already actually have version three in plan, but uh, for version two, I'll show you the difference. The ribs that make up the inside of version two are actually going to be this wide, so it will be twice as wide, and that should help with the stability. Also, I found that if I put weights in the bottom, um, that helps with the stability as as well. So. For the um, portable modular aspect, what I developed or designed was the idea of standardized components that could be bolted together, extended, and broken down, and actually shipped flat if they needed to be, or transported flat, or stored flat. So I'm just going to disassemble uh, this unit really quickly, and then you'll see kind of how and understand how this all works together. So for the prototype, I just used black Velcro. I sense have sourced white Velcro, so this won't be so much of, a, of an issue. Um, this is just a piece of, of 3 quarter inch wood that is covered with canvas. This whole entire outside exoskeleton is covered in canvas and then painted with several layers of gesso. So basically, this, is, this looks like and feels like uh, what people paint on. So for the modular aspect, the inside is a full standing frame, and the outside, what I call the faces, are just pegboard with a frame, stretch canvas over the top. Let's put this back here. I'll take the sides off first. The idea being that since it's just canvas, it can be painted, can be different colors, and also in my experiments what I found is that I can put holes in it, hangers to hang the artwork, and they actually can be patched. So this is just the internal structure. I call these each of these ribs. They're held together by these crossbars. Uh, right now I'm using uh, bricks in the bottom for weight. There's about 80 pounds down there. And this forms the internal structure of the, the gallery wall system. So because everything is flush, they can be bolted together. And so you could immediately, now this is only three feet wide, but they could immediately be six feet wide, nine feet wide, 12 feet wide. They could also be bolted um, on angles. So you could have an L or a Z shape or a T shape, uh, whatever is required for the space. Also, one of the other options or one of the other uh, functions that I wanted to have was um, 
in lots of situations, it would be nice in the space to have a, uh, a shelf or a drawer or somewhere to hide things like a credit card scanner, uh, receipts, uh, business cards, uh, artists, postcards, those type of things. So this, again, is just a really quick um, prototype. But because everything is modular, um, it's very easy to, again, this is just a prototype for a drawer, but it's very easy to build pieces that just flop into place, are held by gravity, simple drawer structure, slides right in, these pegs lock it then in, and so then you've got a drawer, and if you just change the size of the side panels, in this case, Put this panel on first because the drawer overlaps it. Now you have a hidden drawer that can hold, like I said, a credit card reader or receipts or business cards or whatever you might want to pull out, even a, 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 an iPad or an I, not an iPad, uh, an iPod that would run a music system. Um, and then the other nice thing is that because the inside is completely open, this can also be used to store artwork or other things that you might want to store away or have quick access to but not uh, have to go to the back of the gallery. In our situation, we don't have storage at the Andaz, so additional f uh, pieces of artwork and other things can be stored inside. So in terms of the hanging system, let's uh, put some parts of the wall back on. If you remember, I'm using um, pegboard. And a couple of reasons for using pegboard. One, it's a little bit lighter than, than if I was using just solid uh, uh, plywood. But also, because it's standardized on, ten, um, on holes every one inch, I created these little um, holders that you can just measure in one inch in any direction, pop a couple of holes. I created a little hole puncher that's just nails. Can open up two holes. You never have to worry about measuring for um, horizontal. Or, or vertical um, because it's always um, um, level. Pop in the hangers. And then artwork can just hang directly on those. And you can just put as many as you would need um, for depending on how wide the work is or how many pieces you want. And like I said earlier, when we remove the holes, I can actually just take wall patch and fill these holes and then paint over them again and basically you can't see them. Same holds true for any surface, um, for any other type of display or holder that you would want to do. For example, I have a just a, uh, a mock-up of another piece of, that could either be a small piece of work, it could be a display sign or, or any piece of information. It actually even could be a small um, frame that would hold an iPad for, say, video or additional information on the artist. My two uh, hangers that I've created uh, for it, and they just pop in and then hang right on the piece. So same could be done with uh, um, small shelves or even um, other types of display units. So this is what I'm calling the gallery wall system. And uh, so far, I'm pretty thrilled with how it works. I have a design to finish off the bottom. And actually, some custom-made LED lights for lighting it will come out of the top. Um, and it's all self-contained. There'll be electronics uh, inside. and. Um, so once we get the gallery open at the Andaz Maui at Wailea in a couple of weeks, uh, I hope you'll stop down and take a look. Thanks so much.